What's up guys? If you hear an echo or anything like that, cause I'm in the bathroom again. Last time I was recording in my bathroom, it was during draft day and it was a much happier topic that we were talking about. I think it might've been the Shane Lemieux reaction. So if you hear an echo, my bad, I'll try and do my best to get rid of that echo. But as to why I'm here, you may ask, it's because I told you I was finals week, which is why I've been gone for like two or three days without a video. I finished two of my five finals yesterday, so I still have more on the way, but I do have free time right now. My sister is currently taking one of her finals, so I had to be in a quiet spot in the house, and here I am in the bathroom. So there's that, and well, welcome back. What can I say but welcome back. Thank you to um, those of y'all that tuned in to my impromptu live stream last night. That was uh, more so a little bit of a stress reliever for me, you know, coming off of two tests than it was as the actual live stream. But I thank you guys for tuning in anyway. It was definitely fun. Um, I might do more of those as my finals go on just to, you know, calm down and relax. But let's, uh, let's talk about DeAndre Baker. Now, if you kept up with the channel, you know that I've actually spoken about this. Well, you've seen my reaction video, and I might put I might put here and there in this video a clip of what I said in that reaction video. But you know my feelings on Baker. I think that if it is true, if he committed the crimes, it's like what four counts of aggravated assault and armed robbery or something like that. If it's true, the dude should go to jail, should lose his job in the NFL, should be off the Giants, no question. I'll have no remorse. Now, it is sad that a young man essentially threw his entire life and future out the window for $70,000 when he's worth tens of millions of dollars, but you make these decisions, nobody makes them for you, which is another thing. People are blaming the Giants organization and Dave Gettleman and all that. I think that's just plain stupid. You can't foresee a guy's future and say yeah he's gonna go out and do this crime in a year's time for when you draft him if we all think like that then why aren't we blaming howie for ray rice and why aren't we you know you know kareem hunt with the chiefs i could name players that go on and on and uh speaking going back to the ravens um ray lewis and his murder cases and stuff like that uh ben roethlisberger and his rape cases nobody's talking about that the reason they're picking on the giants is because it's the giants but i'm not gonna get into that right now what I'm here to talk about is the latest update on the case and also why I haven't put out a like, I guess a replacement video for DeAndre Baker's because there's a chance and it's a very slim one. I mean, the slimmest of chances, paper thin, that Baker is actually innocent and he has nothing to do with this. He'll be exonerated of all the charges. Everything will be dropped and we'll move on with life. We're not going to move on as if nothing happened because something did happen. I'd have to pause the recording for a second. My bad. I'm not sure where I left off, but as you can tell, I'm a bit scatterbrained right now. Um, like I said, guys, finals week. I'm not exactly completely focused on all things Giants football right now. But getting back to the point, I think I was talking about there's a slim chance that he's innocent. You know, I, I talked about how it could be like the Jackrabbit situation. It was either last year or the year before where the police found dead bodies in Janoris Jenkins' house. And that is way worse than robbing some people and you know stealing watches and a couple thousand dollars um killing somebody <laughs> is definitely a capital punishment type of crime and jack rabbit was found innocent of that even though it was found in his house turned out it was his brother i think that uh that was the murderer or, or the one that actually did the deed whatever the case was jack rabbit was innocent and that was something a situation that seemed much worse than this DeAndre Baker one because we're talking about bodies in his house, you know, his property. And yet he had nothing to do with it. Um, and he was very, very classy with that situation and the way he handled it, you know, didn't really speak to the media, kept it quiet. I'm pretty sure, you know, he followed his lawyer's orders and whatnot. And Jack Rabbit, he's just a dude that doesn't talk that much anyway. But with Baker, there's a chance that it's a similar situation. There's a chance that maybe it's somebody that just looked like DeAndre Baker. There's a chance that maybe you know, it's somebody pretending to be DeAndre Baker. There's a chance that DeAndre Baker has nothing to do with it and this, you know, whoever um, the victim is just put it on him because they have bad blood between them or something. There's a chance that he just has nothing to do with it and he's innocent, um, but that chance is very slim. I'm more inclined to believe that he did do it. 
And this has nothing to do with, um, you know, recently things coming out like, you know, he hasn't been to virtual meetings. Um, more and more reports have been coming out in this offseason about DeAndre Baker as a character. You know, um, that as a character person, he's not very good. He's not a good teammate. Um, in addition to falling asleep during meetings, he just doesn't pay attention during them. He's not showing up to voluntary meetings. You know, he's uh, very fickle with his money, which would kind of lead into him going to try and get back some of his money and stuff like that. Just as a person, more and more reports are coming out. That really leads into Baker being the guilty party in this, you know, whole scenario. And th I'm not trying to make a whole video here saying, oh no, Baker is innocent, Baker is innocent. But I, I don't think that's a coincidence that, you know, that all of this stuff is coming out right now to sort of defame his character while this incident happened. Now, like I said, I do think he did do it. That is, that I do think he did do it. That's way more plausible than him not having anything to do with it at all. But I will say we should definitely wait for all the facts to come out, you know, calm down a little bit and see where it goes. Like I said, if he's guilty, straight to jail. Like, no cap. I don't care what happens with the New York Giants cap situation. This is a matter of, you know, just being a good person and a good a good citizen to the community. You know what I mean? And um, I got two articles here from The Post and ESPN with the latest on the situation. Both of them say that this morning, DeAndre Baker turned himself into the Burlwood County Jail on Saturday for four counts of armed robbery with a firearm and four counts of aggravated assault with a firearm, according to his lawyer, Bradford Cohen. And um, his lawyer actually made a post on Instagram that I'll throw up right now and, and also read. It says, reports are correct that DeAndre turned himself in this morning. I'm a believer in the system and that if everything works for the, works, the matter will be appropriately resolved. Both my client and I have felt uh, the Miramar Police Department and detectives working on the case were accommodating and went out of their way to assure Mr. Baker's privacy during this hard time. This is not just lip service, it is a fact and we appreciate it. This is my 23rd year in practice defending those who I feel are wrongly charged or wrongly treated. Doesn't mean that all police officers are bad or all are good. We all have jobs to do and I believe we do them all to the best of our ability. Police reports are just that, reports of what was told to them or said to them. Court is what we use to examine those reports, investigate those claims, and allow, defend, allow the defendant an opportunity to confront the evidence. Don't rush to judgment. And I agree with most of what he said there, you know what I'm saying? I, I definitely agree that we shouldn't rush to judgment. Reports are just reports. There's nothing as of right now that that convicts him, that says that he is the one that, do, that did it. It's all reports. The investigation is still going on. Who knows how long it is going to go on. But nothing is confirmed yet. Whether he's innocent, not confirmed, whether he's guilty, not confirmed and in the article it also states that apparently cohen has several affiliates from witnesses not affiliates affidavits i'll admit i don't know that word i'm guessing you know he basically has witnesses that says baker is innocent under crime maybe you know a couple alibis and he says that he has video evidence that is in baker's favor to present to the court whenever the um their court their court hearing comes to do so he definitely seems like Baker's side, you know, his court team definitely seems to have a good amount of evidence in their area to maybe exonerate him and drop all charges. And once again, if that is true, if they actually have video of, say, DeAndre hanging out at home during the time that this crime took place, and they say they got people saying that they've, you know, been with him and whatnot, then it's all good. We're, we're all good, you know? But all I really got to say is I'm glad he turned himself in. You know, this goes be this kind of situation. It's a cliche saying, but I, I have no other way to express it. Goes beyond football. It's it's not a football thing. I hope he's innocent. You know, because I really hope he didn't. It's a young dude. I hope he didn't throw away his life. I hope that uh, you know, maybe this scares him into being a better person. Because like I said, there's character traits that are definitely flags. And I and I, I hope everything turns out for the best. But if he is guilty, so be it let him face the court of law that's just how it is let me know what you guys think um at least he turned himself in and he, you know the law is getting to work now i guess whether you think the justice system is good or not is a different conversation but leave your comments down below on the deandre baker situation and uh what's your opinion on it that's it for now once again thank you guys for sticking through with me through my finals week well, two finals weeks, really, for me. That's how my college does it. So I'm kind of going to be sparse on the channel, you know, just on there, here and there for the next week. But thank you for sticking with me through and through. I'm out.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer.